Okay. Does everybody, does everybody have the notes document, the minutes, the agenda? Yeah, it's what I was looking at for the last hour. <laughs> and, You're uh, just on top of it. Here, I'll drop it in the well, chat just in case. I'll be on top of it after I undo the stupid thing that I did trying to do my task. Oops. Yeah. Um, so if you're on the call, feel free to add yourself to the participants list. I can add some people. Um, do we have somebody who would like to volunteer to be the note taker? Since I'm terrible at taking notes and talking at the same time. That is a hard thing for anyone. <laughs> uh, I can do, I can do it. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let's uh let's go ahead and get started. The first thing on the agenda is the previous action items. Uh, so, Sean, create a template in the repository. Yeah, Super Sean um, realized that was his task. He went into his clone. <laughs> he forgot or didn't realize the pull request he'd issued a month ago hadn't been merged yet. He had a merge conflict, and so he took a shortcut and deleted his local fork. Um, and now he's restoring it from his time machine backup because I eliminated like 127 edits that I'd done to align our files um, while I was doing that. So, wow. Just, um, yeah, just a really brilliant, brilliant move on my part. I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like it, it actually it's like is no word. There's no terrible, words. Terrible, but it's like like you know, like shared pain or something, because I, f I feel like I'm the only one that does stuff like that. No, I did it. <laughs> Usually um, it's when I didn't realize that I, my fork wasn't up to date and then I make some updates and then I merge the fork and then, and then I do the pull request Yeah. and chaos. It's just chaos. Yeah, I just had a dangling pull That's request. That's what I usually do. Yeah. I had a dangling pull <laughs> request on this repo and I didn't grok that. So yeah, no worries. Okay, um, I'll just, I'll, I'll tag that as ongoing. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Good way to put it. Um, Matt has the next one to filter and consolidate the metrics list. He's not on the call. I don't think that that's happened yet. I haven't uh, seen, I haven't seen the pull request for it. Um, I think he kind of views that as an ongoing task for him as well. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Um, let's just tag that as, as no update. Um, risk working group to take on the license metrics. Um, risk working group. Okay, I'm taking notes, but I'm... There's an action uh, item for the risk working group to take on some of the license license. Yeah, options. and I think that um, we're pl our plan is to get together at the LF Leadership Summit. Okay. Cool. And there were a couple of other previous action items, but those fit neatly within some of the other agenda items. So I think we'll cover those when we actually talk about those agenda items. Um, so let's have a look at the recent issues. So there's an issue, oh golly, the two that are tagged with core metrics are from, from May. Um, let's have a look at that first one, number 94 which is corporate versus community driven. Um, I think Sean, you were the one that put the core metrics label on this. Do you, um, do you want to give us an overview of that? Yeah, well, let me get to our repo then. 
I'll drop the link to this one in the in the chat just so everybody has it. Oh yeah, that would have been good for me to just go to the chat for that. Trying to navigate to the repo. Oh wow, this is this is from old appointment. It's from ages ago. Yeah, and I tagged, I guess I'm the one that tagged it that way. Yeah. I think I tagged it that way because it had been largely abandoned. <laughs> I was trying to see if this group uh, was going to look at it, but um, and let's see, Gallo. Seems to think that this is part of the elephant factor metric. Uh, so maybe we can just, maybe we, maybe since it's already, if it's already covered by the elephant factor metric, maybe we just uh, close the issue. Yeah, that's probably what to do. Okay. I'll go ahead and close it. Okay. Okay, done. Um, and then the other one was geographic coverage. I just dropped that one in to the chat. Um, talk about tracking the geographic location of committers. I think actually, didn't we start talking about this last? We did, I think, have a conversation about it in this group. Yeah. For the geographic affiliation. Mm -hmm. um, did we set any action items for that? Uh, No, we didn't. Um, okay, I will, let's create an action item. Um, does somebody want to take on digging into the geographic metrics and getting those added to the, added to the metrics list on the metrics repo? Anybody super passionate about geographic metrics? Um, would it just be adding a template and then filling, would it be include filling it in? Are we, what are we asking people to do? Uh, no, I would say at this point, just get them captured on the list so that, okay. um, so that we can do them later. We're not exactly sure what they're gonna be in there. Um, probably some overlap with DNI. Yeah, I mean, I'd be happy to work with somebody on this. I'm new to the group, so I don't know all of the ways people operate. So if there's somebody that could at least help show me the ropes, I'd be happy to jump in on something like this. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. Thank you. Does anybody else want to tag team on that? So we're just going through and looking at all the existing metrics and seeing which ones might have a geographical flavor to them and pulling them together in a master list. Uh, yeah, I think so, at least at this point. Okay. So you're a little bit hard to hear. You seem very far away. I'm, I'm very far away. I'm in California. <laughs> wow, that's a... Wow, that is super far away. <laughs> far away. Um, Maybe move the microphone closer than California to you. <laughs> <laughs> joking, joking. Um, so, you, so you said we're just tagging the metrics. So I'm looking at the full activity of activity metrics. So you're, you, the idea is to tag this by and say like which ones have a geographic element. Is that sort of the 
the plan. I think the idea is probably to add some of the geographic metrics that don't already exist to that gigantic okay. metrics list. Okay. Um, well, if you want, what we can do, um, why don't we work in that issue that I just, just linked? Why don't you... Um, throw some ideas in there. Throw some ideas in there. Maybe um, here, I'll throw in the bit that we talked about last week from our notes. Um, yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah, if that's the case, then maybe I can just, yeah, I can do some stuff there and then we can all, everyone can just throw comments on it. That's easy yeah. enough. Is, is this working group using the, uh, the goal question metric method that we're using in the other working groups? Uh, we should be adopting sort of the same, the same template, yeah. So if, if that's the case, then uh, we probably we want to start with the, the top-down approach, right? So start with the, uh, the geographic coverage goal and, and build down to the metrics, or? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I'm trying so, to understand the, the workflow on this. So is this a, um, I think we're still trying to figure out the workflow ourselves. Okay. So I think, so the is question this a focus is, area? is this a focus area? I was just going to say that. Um, I think that is exactly, exactly the question we need to decide. Um, I think right now it might be easier to do it from kind of a bottoms up standpoint and think about um, the things we need to think about from a geographic standpoint and some of the individual metrics that we might, we might do um, and think about whether or not it should be a separate, a separate focus area because I could see maybe I mean maybe it is like you know lump some like geographic time zone like stuff like that together into a focus area that might might make sense so I would say maybe John if you wanted to to think about that as you're putting some of this together I would say just put together kind of a proposal on the issue and we can we can iterate on it on it okay. from there okay and is just working on comments through the issue is that the right methodology for doing this for now yeah, I would say to start with, and then um, and then we'll figure out whether it's a whether it's a focus area and which which metrics we care about, and then we'll do them as pull requests to the repository. Okay. Or sometimes yeah, so we work in a Google Doc on some of the focus areas, um, the individual metrics. So we'll uh, we'll sort that out. Okay. So yeah, so I'll just add some thoughts in here to the thing. I mean, thanks for those notes in there, and maybe I'll just try to maybe formalized or as much as one could into like, hey, these are the specific topics. Um, maybe just using these bullet, you know, items for here. And I'm assuming the output in the end would be something sort of similar to that big chart on the metrics page there of a name and then a question description. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So I'll give you an action item. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> teaches me to volunteer no it's actually this is good uh -huh. this is good okay cool no it's a nice area to sort of get started with and you can kind of um yeah it's a good way to get engaged so so thank you for that no problem um we don't have we don't have Toby, who was the one that was working on the organizational affiliation metrics. Mm -hmm. So we, we did some work on this last week, I think. And then, um, and then wanted Toby to have a look at it. Has anyone done any work on the organizational affiliation metrics this week? Or should we carry this over to ne the next meeting? I have not in the last couple of weeks. Okay. I think... My recollection of our last discussion was we were kind of at a, uh, I guess we were really mostly, yeah, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of the issue of releasing, which we're discussing in California. <laughs> so. I no, don't we're not, we're, we are not talking about releasing here. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, so I remember this is another one we need kind of Toby's help with, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. No, I'm tired of talking about releasing metrics. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Tell us, tell us um, how you feel. What, Brian? Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> oh, it's one of those things with so many conversations. So many conversations. Circles. Circles. Okay. Um, is he 
is he looking for help on that? Because I, one of the things that I'm really interested in right now personally is that organizational metric. So do you think um, if I reached out to him or I- That would be, that'd be he, awesome. Yeah, I think he's interested in seeing if there's a way to, to reconcile the diverse names across projects. And much of the discussion to date has been focused on the fact that we really, there aren't really convenient ways of sharing that information and that different community managers may want to put those maps of people to organizations in place in different ways. Right. And there's, we're working on also at Red Hat, I hope this summer we've got an intern working for, with my group that will um, put together uh, some machine learning tools that might be able to analyze patterns and see if people are actually a part of our organization mm -hmm. based on how, how and when and they contribute and how often and things like that. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I want to, I'd love to be a part of that and see if we can figure something out because um, that's my emergency all hands on deck thing this week. So, no. and of course it couldn't wait till summer when I actually have an intern working on it, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. If, um, it, you know, wanna, there's some things that we're doing right now that to at least identify unaffiliated ones and provide uh, punch lists of map user IDs that need to be, or emails that need to be mapped somewhere. Um, I might, maybe, I, maybe it, that would be useful to you, Brian, in a yeah. separate conversation. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to get, right. we're, we're diverting, but let me, let me talk to you offline about that. Yes. And, and I'll, I'll reach out to Toby and see um, if I can help. And I see the cool. action. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I think this is a trend that people taking action items don't show up at the next meeting um, because also Daniel's not here for progress on the responsiveness metrics. He is not being responsive on his uh, action item. Um, no, I suspect, to be honest, I think a lot of people are really busy this week because so many of us are traveling next week. Next week yeah. um, so things like preparing presentations and just the fact that um, I don't know about all of you, but when, when I'm out for a week and a half, I end up with a lot of work the week before and the week after because all the meetings just get squashed yep. in either direction. So this, this week's been a bit hectic. Um, okay. So we'll, uh, check, we'll check in on that in the, in the next meeting. And then I think this was one that... Um, I think Georg may have, might have added this one, and I think he's also not here. He's lurking here, but I think he's. He said he's still occupied, so he can't. I think he can't participate, but he's uh, uh, lurking in the meeting with us. Um, so, so the idea is finding ways that we can better um, better involve people who can't necessarily attend attend meetings like this. So I think one of, um, you know, one of the ideas is to get better about um, creating issues for the work that needs to be done and tagging it with um, good first issue and tagging it with core metrics. So I think we have some issues out there. Um, actually, I know we have some issues that I didn't, we didn't talk about today. They must not be tagged properly with the uh, core metric issue because I know that um, the different organizational affiliation metrics so yeah so Toby has this one number issue number 124 I'm gonna add the core metrics label to it oh the labels core metrics but it should be common metrics can I edit labels, uh, you edit can, labels? Uh, hopefully. okay uh, edit Okay, done. Uh, uh, an open issue or probably best. Um, okay, so so this one should actually be common metrics. Does anybody else see any other? If you go to the issues, 
for metrics. Are there others that should be tagged with common metrics that aren't the GMD metrics of living work groups? Metrics idea project segments by time zone. Um, hmm. this is probably a bigger. There's quite a few issues in here. Um, so, so it's just probably somebody take it to do to. Post <laughs> yeah. Issues. Yeah. Why? Um, yeah, I'm. I'm happy. I'm happy to do that. If we can, we can give give me that action item. Got it. Um, because the, I think one of the things we need to do is go through and not just tag the issues that are already there that we're working on, but create new issues for some of the things that we're working on. And as we, especially as we get some of the metrics that we know we want to work on, um, tag those as good first issue. So what one of the things that we are trying to do with the diversity and inclusion working group is send out an email every couple of weeks to the main chaos list and say, hey, you know, we, we'd love to have more people participate in the working group. And here are a few good first issues that people are interested in. So I think Sarah is actually working on that email and hoping to send something out um, relatively shortly for that. So anything that we could do, um, I think to basically to get more people involved and to get people who can't necessarily come to these meetings to participate. Anybody else have any other thoughts for how we could do that or want to step up to, to help out with any of that? Going into the LF Summit, it's hard to think of taking on a task. <laughs> Maybe I'll feel better about that in a week or two. <laughs> I feel the same way. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's say X and item, uh, find a volunteer at the next meeting. Well, so putting on my marketing hat, what if we, I mean, one thing we could do, because it feels like, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, it feels like this group would be a, is a good fit for entry level people coming into chaos. I mean, mm -hmm. unless you're really passionate about DNI or, mm -hmm. or, you know, growth maturity, decline, whatever, um, you know, we, we, it feels like we have sort of this general catch all um, thing. So maybe we start pushing this outside of the group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're interested, blah, 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 come to these meetings, or if you can't, watch out for, you know, you know these issues, and, and kind of take that track, and I don't want to step on any of the other work groups' toes, but, you know, if people come into us, and they, and they feel like, you know, wow, I'm really passionate about DNI, then we'll say, by all means, get over there and start helping them. That makes sense? Yeah. Um. No, it totally does. And I think, too, we have within the common metrics working group, we have a lot of sort of standalone metrics. So there's there's things that people can pretty easily work on that don't affect a lot of other things, um, which makes it easy to get started. But there's also, um, because there's so much stuff under common metrics, there's bound to be, if you're interested in metrics, there's bound to be one that you're interested in working on that hasn't been yet defined by somebody else. So I think that's, I think that's a really good point. And I think once we get back from the from leadership summit, we'll have a better a better idea, um, or better better focus. Anyways, does anybody know if Toby's coming to the leadership summit? I don't. I, I wonder if he is. He's probably speaking. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna have a quick look at the. Speakers, no, I don't see him on the speaker list. So he's probably not coming. It's a long trip for him, for him, since Switzerland, I think. Okay. Um, so, Georg, it looks like you're, you're here? Okay. Um, yeah, here. <laughs> do, do you have any other thoughts on um, getting people involved who can't attend the meetings? I was just looking through the 
minutes and we already have most of the ideas. One is to have actual conversations through the mailing list. Um, so let's say we want to discuss the license metrics that we put out sentiments from our calls and then continue the conversation on the mailing list and thereby we include everyone who is only looking on the mailing list. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So I think that's actually, that's all we have. That's all we have on the agenda. Does anybody else have any other topics that they want to chat about? Or I'm happy to keep this a short meeting. I know we've all got a lot of stuff going on next week. I have a question. Yeah. We do want to meet at the leadership summit. Do we have a predetermined time and date or are we just going to wing it? Or what's the plan there? It's a, it's a good question. Uh, we've talked about doing some, some boffs at the leadership summit. Um, here's, here's the hard part. Like the DNI group wants to meet. I think it'd be great for this group to meet. I bet the GMD group would like to meet at the open source leadership summit. Um, so I, <laughs> Brian just wants to meet. <laughs> I say I meet. step out in the hotel bar and just meet whenever. <laughs> no, you're welcome. Yes. I'm, I'm, yeah. I saw their happy hours every single night. And then, and then, yeah, there's, there's like a happy hour and then a little break where I guess we're supposed to find food, uh, whatever. And then there's like cocktails in the evening. So wouldn't be the first time I've had made dinner out of, you know, like a bag of crisps and a carrot sticks and gin. Olives. <laughs> Olives. <laughs> what vegans eat at conferences when there's no real food. Um, yeah. In seriousness, though, I echo Georg's thing. If we could find the time to meet, that would be great. I was going to ask the same question. Yeah, that is that is a really a really good question. Um, do we? Somebody told me that there are going to be boffs. Has anybody seen them on the schedule? No. The way that I understand it and how it was when I was there last time is there's a whiteboard and you can just yeah. sign up for a time and put a topic down and then you have a dedicated room for your topic. We could set one up for this group, for the other group, and basically just takes over the entire whiteboard. <laughs> cool. But yeah, cause is, usually, but usually there's time allocated for that. So I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, the passive was parallel to the other sessions. Oh, I see. It's just a dedicated okay. room that you can sign up for. Okay. Um, well, there is, let's see. So when, I, when, are, when are people coming in? Are you, um, you going to be there? On, is everyone going to be there on Monday? Like Monday evening? I'll be there. I'll be there Monday evening. Okay. So, so here's what we should do. We should find each other at the Oceanside Happy Hour, which is at 5.30 um, on Monday. Although I guess on Monday we probably won't know what's going on yet, right? Yeah. Oh, what the heck. We'll find each other on, on Monday and we can, we can have drinks. I can and then, uh, tell you I'm not going to be there because I've got – I'll be busy all day Monday, and then my team my team is meeting Monday night for social uh, stuff. So okay, because we're having managers. I thought I was going to have fun, and all my managers are going to be there. <laughs> no, they're ruining it. Not really. <laughs> Not really. It's the um, leadership summit. Maybe they felt obligated. Yeah, they're leading. Yeah, you, have you met my team, New York? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe you should introduce me. I'm just disappointed yeah. that, that they're not leading by cocktails because that's what they would normally do. Um, to be clear, I know his leadership and they will be. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, we can, if we can make that happen, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, what's our communication line? Are we using a uh, chat or something or, or just email? I wish we had sort of a chat mechanism. Telegram is but all the rage in Fedora land. What is? Telegram. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, there's some Russian servers involved, but you know, otherwise, <laughs> it's open source. I can offer Signal and WhatsApp. I can't WhatsApp use pretty good. I can't use WhatsApp um, for <sighs> I so I use it on my UK phone and then when I put my U US sim in my UK phone WhatsApp just freaks out and like deletes everything so I can't use it when I have my US sim in which is what I'm gonna have at the conference mm -hmm. so WhatsApp is like just like a non-starter for me because it just it, it freaks out it doesn't it doesn't like it when I put a new sim and have a different phone number Signal's uh, good, but the group messaging on it is pretty, like, it's just, it doesn't have the UI that all the rest of them do, basically. It's yeah. just not as good, but, okay. you know, it's actually secure, which is nice. Here's what I recommend. Let's go retros, 1970s, and just, like, find each other at the conference. <sighs> Gasp. <laughs> I know. I know. Like what we did before we had cell phones. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I know. It's crazy. Crazy. We you, you all enjoyed that. Unfortunately, I'm not able to attend this year. Um, oh, I was, bummer. Yeah, I had a talk, but then, yeah, we're... Um, as it turns out, there's a lot of people at Open Source Leadership Summit this year, and uh, I, I chose to give one of my spaces away to someone much more deserving. So, um, next time. Cool. All right, so, um, yeah, so let's find each other at the, at the happy hour and try to figure out what to, um, where to meet next. Um, on that note, is anyone else doing the wine tasting and glass blowing on Monday? Because that's the one I'm doing. I've not signed up for anything. <laughs> okay. I have one other agenda item that is unrelated to uh, having a good time at a conference. Well, um, uh, uh, somebody <laughs> wants to work. Whoa. Bummer. Uh, it's, it's actually a very simple question. Um, but we talked the other day about potentially um, – uh, uh, rejiggering is the best word I can think of, um, how the kind of the layout of the metrics are in the big metrics list. Mm -hmm. um, I was, you know, in the interest of kind of the conversation you were just having about um, essentially being, you know, more open to, to uh, uh, other community members or whatever. Is that something that you might want me to open as a question on the mailing list? Um, you know, is there, or is there some guiding discussion you'd want to have first? Um, but I was just wondering, it's like, you know, what we were struggling with, and I think I mentioned this in the DNI meeting the other day, which is that we were struggling with understanding the uh, kind of the subcategorization within mm -hmm. the metrics list, um, you know, or if there was. Um, you know, because like DNI, for example, has a bunch of metrics, but they're at kind of various levels in the, um, it's a good word. Oh, taxonomy. That's the word I want to board. Basically, the, yeah. there are different levels of taxonomy in the metrics list of the overall chaos metrics, um, mm -hmm. which might be fine, but we were somewhat confused looking at it as outsiders. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I would love for you to tee that up as a mailing list discussion because I do think that that massive list of un completely unorganized metrics needs a bit of a bit of organization to it and kind of a focus area taxonomy which is what we've done with the other working groups um, breaking them into focus areas is probably probably a pretty good idea but it'd be good to have that discussion because like I said everybody's sort of invested in this repository and we should have that discussion on the mailing list that so people can chime in so specifically for DNI, or specific, or do you mean more generally? Like, no, do you I think mean, the, the, that working group needs some better categorization, or do you think that in general the whole taxonomy needs better categorization? I think the um, specifically the metrics repository. Okay, but the that, whole thing, not some subcategory of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Why because DNI has already done that. DNI has broken stuff into fo into focus areas. And I think was somebody else trying to talk? Go. Yeah, I was uh, trying to offer a history lesson of how things came to be to get some insight on what we have already tried and done and how it got to the point it is, if you want to hear about it. Well, so I would recommend, um, even though I do want to hear about it, that um, why not I start the email and then you reply with the history lesson. Okay, I'll save it then. Well, just because, I mean, then it's actually shared, right? And then it's part of the, you know, it's part of the annals of, of, the, of the mailing list archives, right? Um, yep. And I think I just think it might be more useful if more people hear it. Good Unless idea. it's that I'm an idiot and you know we shouldn't be doing this at all because you know because then then I would prefer to hear it now rather than in a public <laughs> you know mailing list. Okay, you're not an idiot, and I'll save it for the mailing list. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a good conversation to have. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I agree, Langner. We need to do. We need to do something. Something with that big list. Um, yeah, well, but, I mean, it depends on what it's being consumed by, right? And that's kind mm -hmm. of why I had the question. Because if it's being consumed yeah. by computers, then it doesn't matter that much. If it's being consumed by humans, then it matters more. Yeah, it's it's the latter. It's the humans. Right. So I will. Yeah, I will try to raise that on the mail list, and we'll see what happens. Cool. That'd be awesome. Thank you and good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I will not propose any answer. <laughs> I'm still with you. Yeah. Uh, any other agenda items? Okay. With that, I guess we'll we'll give people some time back, and we'll see most of you, sadly not all of you, at the uh, leadership summit next week. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye.